Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Sharada, consultant with America Cryo. I wanted to take this opportunity to speak to all of you regarding a concern that we've had the last couple weeks regarding CO2 spraying out the backside of the device. When this nozzle is on in place, as it should be, the spraying of the CO2 comes out here and not here. That is not a defective device. That is because a 100% O-ring is defective. So this happens over time. It's like a rubber band. Um, with multiple uses, you could have this issue. You could have this issue when you first get the device. So we'll show you how to take the O-ring off and we'll also show you what it looks like spraying the device with a defective O-ring and what it looks like after you replace it. This is a little troubleshooting video for you and we'll also upload this to the training platform for those that have purchased the Sub-Zero. We're very excited to follow through with anybody who has any questions. This is a very easy thing to do from home that should take you just a couple seconds and the o-ring is set right there so we'll get into this video and we'll show you how to replenish and replace it We need to replace that O-ring, which we have right here, and pushing that down to the bottom in order for you to have a steady stream appropriate with no CO2 coming out the side. All right, I hope that was an effective training for you. Uh, again, the device is not defective. It was the O-ring that was defective. And I was able to show you the stream of CO2 coming out the back as well as the front. Now that it's fixed, you shouldn't have any issues with that. It should all spray out the top just like this. No concerns. So that being said, it's an easy way to troubleshoot. It takes about five minutes in between your patients. If you have any issues like that, you can give us a call. However, this should be a very effective troubleshooting for you. If you see any CO2 streaming out the side, it is 100% an O-ring. And like we said before, it's not defective in the device, it's defective in the O-ring. So um, hope this training was helpful for you. We're looking to upload this into the training platform as well. Uh, for those of you that haven't gone through the training plan platform, we highly encourage that. You'll be working with Anthony and myself on that training and we can also discuss the use of this device and if you have any questions regarding the O-ring itself. So I hope you guys have a good day. Good luck in your businesses and keep rocking it out.